Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. This question is very typical for MCAT questions relating to the areas of the brain. Oftentimes the MCAT will give you a situation in which a certain brain area has been damaged, tell you the symptoms, and expect you to be able to regurgitate which area of the brain that is. Now, because there are so many different areas of the brain and you need to remember all of their functions, it's important to come up with simple mnemonic devices to keep them straight, especially because some of them can sound very similar. For instance, hippocampus can be easily confused for hypothalamus, or cerebrum can be easily confused for cere cerebellum, right? And so because it can be so easy to confuse all these, and because it's hard to know which ones you actually need to know for the MCAT, I've included it as a lesson in my 10 Most Commonly Missed Concepts course. And in that course, I provide simple mnemonic devices to keep them all straight. For instance, answer choice A, amygdala. You can remember this one by knowing that it's responsible for emotions such as, such as anger and aggression, and I like to think about a little toddler who is angry and they're shaking their doll. So their dolla, their amygdala, their doll, right? For thalamus, answer choice B, I like to think about it as being the control tower for sensory information. It receives all that information and sorts it and then sends it to the other areas of the brain, okay? For answer choice C, hypothalamus, um, this part of your brain it tries to maintain homeostasis, okay? So hypothalamus starts with H and homo homeostasis starts with H. And it does this by controlling the pituitary gland. Basically, I think about it as saying to the pituitary gland, you must obey me. Hypothalam must obey me, right? Finally, answer choice D, hippocampus. It's responsible for the formation of long-term memories. It helps long-term memories set up camp in your brain. So, answer choice D would be a good answer for this question because if you were unable to form new long-term memories, then your hippocampus must not be functioning. Therefore, the best answer here is answer choice D, hippocampus. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We will see you next time.